Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Lisa Freeman right here from stampingwithlisa.com and I wanted to come in today and bring you a really quick video showing how to make this beautiful card that's kind of monochromatic. It's not really monochromatic, but it looks like it, but, but it is three different colors, but they're kind of in the same family. So I, I think it does look mostly monochromatic, but I think it goes really, really well with this paper, the Expressions in Ink paper which I'm sad to say is sold out right now. So you cannot buy it until I think the end of the month it's gonna be back in. So unfortunately it's sold out because everybody wanted it. It's absolutely the most beautiful paper I've ever seen, I think. So let me show you what we're using today. In the catalog on page 13, I've got the art gallery stamp set and I'm using that. And let me get my computer go in and see if I'm live actually before I go any farther <laughs> oh yay I'm on here okay let me see hey Sharon let's get going it's so hot today I just got home and it is like a thousand degrees outside all right so I'm good I look pretty straight too hey Cheryl all right, so we're using this stamp set on page 13, the art gallery. And then on page 96 and 97, we're using the um, Expressions in Ink paper, which is the one that's not available right now. So it's this beautiful paper that comes in all different colors. And I'll show you on another page what it looks like better. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely my favorite paper ever. Here it is. All right, so you can kind of see there, I've already showed it in a, um, a bunch of other videos. Hey, Michelle, hey, Karen. Um, so I've showed it in um, a lot of other videos, so I didn't want to just drag it out again today because I feel like I kind of do that all the time. But it is absolutely beautiful. So as soon as it comes back in stock, you guys should definitely put it on your wish list and get it right away before it sells out again. Because right now with the um, shipping issues because of COVID, Stampin' Up! is uh, kind of behind getting things because they're taking longer. All right, so for the paper products today, you're gonna need a piece of Pool Party, five and a half by eight and a half, a piece of the designer paper, so hopefully you already got some and you can make this card. It's five and a quarter by four of the Expressions and in Ink paper. Um, Just Jade, two and three quarters by four and a quarter, and Whisper White, or actually Basic White, sorry, two and a half by four. And then we've also got a little bit of ribbon um, the crinkle white seam binding. Oh, good, Michelle, you got some. Yeah, I know. That was the first thing on my order. The very first day we could order stuff, I got that paper. So that was my favorite sweet. All right, so let's take these off and get started. It's really, really quick and easy. Um, so all you have to do is stamp on the white piece. We're going to start with our lightest color, which is Pool Party. And... We're just going to stamp the background piece. So when you're doing the two-step stamping, you have one that's pretty solid, which is this one. That's the one that goes in the lighter color. The one that's kind of open and more detailed, that's the one that goes in the darker color. So we're going to start with the pool party. And I'm just going to stamp that. Wow, this is a brand new pad. It's like a super juicy. <laughs> you can see the bubbles on it. I don't know if you can see that, all the little bubbles. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stamp that like right up in the top corner. So mine is pretty dark for being pool party. I think I'm just going to leave that open for a minute because I'm going to sponge with that in just a minute. All right, then we're going to come back in with the Bermuda Bay. So this is Bermuda Bay. I'm going to go right over top of that. So you've got this little indention right here that matches up with that little indention. So you just put it right on top of it and line it up. And I just noticed I got a little piece of lint or something on the stamp. Oh, it came out good though. So it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. All right, so that's that part. And then we're gonna do the another one. So this is kind of like a three-step stamp. So this is another little piece that comes with it. And I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle, like right there. So it just kind of gives it a little bit more color in the middle. And then I've also got my words Thanks, thank you for everything. That's gonna also go in Bermuda Bay right at the bottom. And there you go. All right, so now we've got to do our leaf. And that's going in Just Jade. 
So I just got back from a date. Ah, we went to lunch, a late lunch. Uh-oh, my pad is like wonky. It's not opening. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, stuck a little bit. Okay, these are brand new pads I just found. <laughs> so you know when you first get them, they're kind of tough to open. But we went to this restaurant called Bubba's. That was really good. And got some lunch. All right, so you're just gonna stamp that right there and you want the stem to kind of go right up where that indention is. There you go. And then we're gonna sponge a little bit with the pool party. And I've got my blending brush and I know I just said sponge, but it's blend. And I'm just gonna tap it off on scrap paper. So we went to this place called Bubba's, which is really, really fun. It's kind of like a spa, sports bar, but they have, remember when, if, okay, so I'm 55, telling my age here, but if you're a child of the 80s, which I graduated from high school in 83, you know, MTV was big back then, and they actually had like videos on MTV, music videos. <laughs> now they don't even have that. They just have reality TV. But um, this place, it has sports and stuff, but it also has music, really good 80s music. And they have the video, the original videos, the um, music videos from back then. So it's really fun. So if you're a child of the 80s, you could go there and it'll bring back some memories and you could sing along. All right, then we're also gonna do some splattering, which I love to do. So I'm gonna get my dark pool party and just open it up to the fat tip. Then you need something to bang it on, so I usually just grab another one. And then just tap it all over, and I'll give you some little splatters on here. It's really light, because this is a light color, but I'll hold it up so you can see it. So we had a great time. And it was like our fourth date now, so it was really fun. All right, so I don't know if you can see the little splatters on there, but they're there. Then we're going to color with some Wink Stella. So I'm just going to go over where the darker areas of blue are and do some Wink Winka Stella. So I also made this stuff called crack pretzels today. Has anybody ever heard of crack pretzels? My coworker brought some to work yesterday and they were so crazy good. So the recipe is online on Pinterest or well, you pretty much anywhere, but it's called crack pretzels and it's pretzels. You have to use rolled gold pretzels. I don't know why they're the best ones, I guess. And you take a bag of them, like the ones shaped like a regular pretzel, not pretzel, not like the stick ones. And then you put it in a bag, Ziploc bag, and then you take uh, Orville Redenbacher's oil and like popcorn oil and you take a bottle of that and you pour it in a, um, a bowl. Then you take a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch um, dressing mix, the dry stuff, pour that in. Can you see that shimmer on there? Yummy. I think I'll put a little on the leaves too. Um, then you put a little bit of garlic, salt or powder, either one, and a little bit of dill, which sounds weird because I didn't taste any dill in there but evidently there is but you can't really taste it and then you kind of whisk that up and you pour it over top of the pretzels in the bag and I had to use two bags because I, I did two pounds of it at once and can you see that sparkle love it then we're gonna put these together and then you um, just kind of flip the bag around like once an hour just flip it all around coat it and then go back about an hour later flip it around some more so it gets all coated in there but then for some reason the bag doesn't close anymore because it'll get, um, you know, cause you gotta stop and taste it. And then what happens, I guess like the salt or something gets stuck in the zipper part and uh, then you can't close the bag. So I had to put it in like a big Tupperware container and then shake it up. All right, so we're gonna glue these two together, but I'm telling you what, it is so addictive. If you like pretzels, this is, Kind of like, um, almost like a Chex Mix flavor a little bit that that you make the pretzels in and it's, it's so good and they're just so buttery and mm, 
Yummy. All right, so now I want to put this ribbon on here. So I don't know if you guys caught this when I first started, but I have these little loops of ribbon. So what I'm going to do is put some tape on the back, just on this side right here to kind of hold it. And then I'm going to start with the roll of ribbon, and this is the white crinkled seam binding. And so I'm just going to put it back here, start it, make a little loop, and then tack it down, and then bring it back up, make another little loop, and there you go. So actually these are a little bit too long, let me fix that. I don't think I want them that, that big sticking out. So it comes back up pretty easily. So let's just tack it down, make them a little bit smaller. So anyway, I can't wait till those pretzels are done. They gotta kinda sit for a few hours and soak up all the oil and the flavors and mm, they are just yummy. So if you guys want the recipe, I'll, I'll put it, um, I'll post it, but it's really, really good. Uh-oh, I froze. Uh, okay, I'm back. Oh, Susan, I sent you a message because I know, I thought I saw a message from you that you sent me your address, but now I can't find out where it went. So I don't know if it was my email, but can you send it again? Cause I don't, I don't have it. So I could send you that stamp set. All right, so we've got this right here with all the little loops. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. I hope I didn't freeze for very long. I didn't catch that. I hate it when that happens. Get that stupid Cox internet. All right, so let's just put couple around this ribbon too. All right, so we got a bunch of dimensionals on here. I'll take them off. And then we're gonna pop it up and we gotta do some pearls. Don't you guys forget, there's a big sale going on. So if you wanna get anything from the Spring Mini, it's retiring at the end of the month, but there's a lot of stuff that's half off. So make sure you check that list out. I've got another video about maybe uh-oh. Uh, I think my computer just froze up again. Oh, this is bad, bad, bad. Ugh, this is so aggravating. You guys can still see me. I don't know what's going on. All right, so we're almost done, and then I've just got to put some pearls on here. Let me get those real quick. So I colored these with the um, Shaded Spruce Stampin' Blend. And, oh, I already got them colored, so I'm not gonna color anymore. But we're just gonna take some of those with the Take Your Pick tool. Dang. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'll have to post this on YouTube from my phone so that you can watch it. Oh, I'm using the medium ones, not the small ones, sorry. So I do need to color some of these. Let me see. Now I can't find them. Uh-oh. I could have sworn I brought these pearls in here. Well, we might have to just use the little ones because I can't find the big ones. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I know it went blurry and froze up. Sorry. Well, I don't know what happened to them. So we're going to use some little ones. Um, I've got, well, we can use some big ones here. And... I know I had another thing of these somewhere, but we'll use the little ones and put them in the middle of the flower. Sorry, I'll upload this from my phone so you can see it without being blurry. I don't know why the internet does this like every day. All right, so we're all done. Hope you guys got through most of that. Um, I will post this on YouTube, so if you wanna watch it again, and it'll be a better picture. It'll take a while though to upload it from my phone, so. Check back later. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully next time I won't have any issues with my internet. But you guys have an awesome day. Don't forget if you want to order something from the sale or anything else, just go to stampingwithisa.com. There's the host code for June. And thank you guys for watching. And you guys have an awesome day. See you later. Bye-bye.